Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node Skis. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading for the month of August of 2022. Thank you guys so much for being here. I, I hope, I pray that this message, this reading, this video finds you well. Yeah, Virgo? So please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading, okay? This does not have to resonate for you at any specific moment. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you at that time. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're not necessarily interested in doing a personal reading, but you would like to get uh, be able to receive more messages for yourself through this channel, then definitely get engaged, get involved. Yeah, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. That absolutely helps me to connect with your energy, regardless as to whatever image you have as your profile uh, photo or whatever your name is, that doesn't matter. You leaving a comment definitely leaves an energetic imprint and that helps me to connect with your energies in the future should there be more messages for you that Spirit wants to deliver through this channel. So definitely get engaged, Virgo, yeah? If you would like to receive more, but then also you could always do a personal reading. That is always best because these are, in fact, general readings, yeah? All right, Virgo, we're gonna give this one last shuffle and then we will see what we have got going on for you at this time. All right, Virgo, so the first thing that I'm seeing for you is the color purple, <laughs> like the movie, no, or the book, no. Um, oh, well. I don't know. It could be something to, something to do with something similar to like the storyline or the, um, you know, just the arc of uh, the color purple, <laughs> that book, and ultimately the movie as well. Um, but I only said that just because I'm seeing purple for you. Um, and purple does represent higher wisdom, um, higher awareness. I do feel like Virgo at this time, at this moment in your life, you are very much connected to a higher source, uh, a higher divinity is what I'm hearing. Um, that seems to be bypassing all other lower vibrations. Now, please understand that when I mention or when I say lower vibrations in relation to this higher awareness or higher vibration that I'm picking up on for you, it doesn't mean that those lower vibe situations are necessarily worse or are not something to necessarily pay attention to or anything like that. I just feel like you're connected to a higher authority right now. Um, and that is an authority all your own. It feels very personal. It feels very individual. Um, I feel like you're moving, you're moving with the guidance of your higher self right now. You're very much connected to that. I am seeing high priestess, the high priestess card in my head right now. So some of you may really be working on developing your intuition or at least more of your intuition is coming online. This actually could be very religious, religiously oriented for you if you are if you find yourself more on the religious side than the spirituality side. Even though re religion is kind of part of spirituality, they are very two very different paths. One is very potentially dogmatic, that would be religion, um, very strict. And then, you know, spirituality, the path of pure spirituality is very individual and very free. Um, so some of you may be connecting more towards like God in the, uh, the, the sense of the Bible. Others of you may be connecting with God through the sense of your own personal sense of divinity, okay? But other than that, regardless as to whichever way this is relevant to you, um, it all feels very good. I'm also seeing yellow and green now. I was seeing yellow and green a lot yesterday for some of the signs. I am going in chronological order uh, this month, um, but uh, I, I just feel like your sense of drive, your sense of, ac your sense of action, I'm also hearing your sense of purpose is being derived from this, this higher connection <laughs> that I just heard that you are installing. So, okay, this could be like, let's speak, let's speak physically and technically here. Um, of course, also hypothetically. 
let's say that your mind or your consciousness is a computer, right? I do say this a lot. I used to say this a lot in the past. I haven't really talked about it recently, but this is a good uh, uh, analogy. You can look at your physical brain as the hardware of your computer, and then you can look at the, um, the beliefs that you have as, we'll say, uh, amongst other things, but we'll look at the beliefs that you have as, let's say, your programming, right? Or the software to that you install into your hardware. Well, there seems to be some sort of new software coming online for you that you are, in fact, some of you at least are in the process of installing this into your operating system. Okay, uh, some of you have sufficiently installed it already and you're actually running this program. Others of you are in the process of installing this, you know, getting it in there. I'm feeling picking up on specifically acclimating towards it. You know what I mean? Getting comfortable with it. I'm getting starting to, you know, create some sort of uh, beneficial rapport with this programming, this this software, if you will. Okay, and that software is being downloaded from this higher self or this higher awareness or this connection to some sort of higher sense of guidance, okay? Interesting, I was just, do we wanna shuffle? No, that's it, okay. I was just looking at the bottom, I was guided to look at the bottom of the deck. I did finish shuffling, we're gonna pull your cards now, but we are starting you off with the Eight of Swords. But I feel like you're being liberated from this Eight of Swords energy or this mental conditioning or mental prisoning prison. That seems to be a very common theme for all of the signs so far. Of course, I started in Aries, now I've reached Virgo, we still have the rest of the Zodiac to go through, but at, at least at this current moment that I'm recording this video for you, Virgo, but at the same time, there seems to be a large uh, liberation process that is underway, okay? And this is all very personal, very specific to you, your identity, you as an individual, whether you find yourself more on the biblical side of things or whether you find yourself on the more of the spiritual side of things. And when I speak of the biblical side of things, as in like, reading or subscribing to the teachings in the Bible that doesn't just have to be Christianity. This could be any religion that you practice or you align with, even if that religion or that religious practice is not something you were necessarily born into, okay? There's, again, like I, I feel like this is a very, very individualistic, very personal thing for you, Virgo, all right? But it's, it seems to be addressing some sort of mental prison and or confinement that you have been in and this higher awareness this i really want to call it a higher authority virgo is coming in and helping you to address these this sense of entrapment with this eight of swords type of energy here okay seems to be helping create some sort of catalyst towards liberation mm. i like this a lot for you virgo Let's move forward. What's going on for Virgo? What messages do we have for Virgo at this time for this, for August, 2022 and beyond? First card you have Virgo is the two of wands. That makes sense. What's going on for Virgo at this time? Then we have the seven of pentacles. However, the seven of pentacles is in reverse. That also makes sense for this energy I'm picking up on for you here. Queen of cups is reversed. Okay. Anything else for Virgo? What messages do we have for Virgo at this time? That's it right there. Okay, last card you have here is the nine of wands. All right, all right. Personal sense of liberation definitely feels like it's the right title for you, at least in this moment. Overall energy, Virgo, is the knight of Carp cups. So your heart is leading the way here. Um, ooh, ooh, come on now, Eric. Don't destroy the shot, please. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so um, Virgo. Uh, oh shoot, now I've lost initially what I was gonna say here, but that's okay, moving forward. Um, you, there's, you're definitely in a place right now, Virgo, of needing to make a decision, two of wands. Um, I feel like you are actively making that decision at this point because you have come to an understanding of the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse. First of all, the Queen of Cups in reverse is telling me that whatever it is you've been investing in, Seven of Pentacles reversed here, whatever it is you've been investing in is not fulfilling to you any longer. I really get this specifically here, Virgo. What I'm getting with this Queen of Cups in reverse is like, the, it's like, you just don't care anymore. 
And it's not to say that you're being irresponsible or anything, but something doesn't hit you the right way. Something doesn't hit you emotionally or doesn't resonate with you emotionally the right way. You seem to be seeking some new way of life, some new path forward, some new avenue here. Two of Wands is a decision, right? And then the Seven of Pentacles in reverse is telling me that you are not receiving or you haven't been at least in terms of this situation in question it really could be anything for you okay but in terms of this situation in question here virgo you have not been receiving the fruits of your labor that you truly desire for some of you this is actually the fact that you have recognized that what it is you have been working towards just doesn't resonate with you any longer on an emotional level, we'll say. And so now you're kind of like, okay, well, what do I do now? Which direction do I go in now? You have to decide what it is you want to do from here on out, which is going to um, require you understanding or getting to the bottom of why your emotions are not invested in this situation, the Queen of Cups reversed. Now, understand, Virgo, that this doesn't necessarily have to be religious or spiritually based, but I will say that the purple energy that I was picking up on for you here is definitely resonating with this situation because in terms of which direction you need to be going in right now, you are taking that guidance from your higher self or from a higher source of authority or a higher awareness. I wanna make it very clear, Virgo, that this is very individual for you. So what you may consider a higher authority is not necessarily what someone else would consider a higher authority. And that is A-OK. -okay. You don't need anyone else's validation here. I really don't even feel like you're looking for anyone else's validation here. You're really looking for the best validation to come forward towards you, which would be from yourself. So a lot of this higher wisdom, higher authority here, it could be a, rep a representation of God in some sort of religious sense. But it really, quite frankly, what I'm feeling at the baseline here is this higher awareness or higher authority is coming from your higher self. Okay. Mm, okay, hold on. Sorry, I got to pause for a second. Now, some of you may still be involved with some of these situations or circumstances that we'll call, we'll say, are previous um, or and or are from the past, or at least we'll say they're about to be from the past because you're up, you're in the process. It feels like you're in the process of moving out or away from that, but you still may be dealing with a little bit of it right now, or at least some semblance of it because you do have this nine of wands energy, but this nine of wands energy for you right now, Virgo, is feeling like determination to make it through to the other side, to find a way out of this, to just to keep your head up and just keep going. Don't stop. Um, but at least to keep going in a way that would get you moving towards something without a, a pathway or a way forward and a way of action uh, forward that would be best, better for you or better in alignment for you at this time or ultimately the best alignment for you. OK, your heart is definitely leading the way here. Yeah, look, six of cups. I'm sorry. Uh, Knight of cups is at the bottom of the deck underneath the Knight of cups is the six of swords. So there's definitely an energy here of something. Something just doesn't feel right for you, Virgo, is really how I want to say it, it and, and take it as it resonates. And it doesn't necessarily have to be so trivial as just like, hmm, I wonder, something doesn't feel right here. I mean, you may have been in that energy already. You may have crossed, well, you probably did cross that borderline already of like ultimately crossing a border into a new energy and being like, hmm, something's not right here and needing to figure it out. Regardless as to where you are in this process, Virgo, I need you to understand, Spirit wants you to understand that your heart is in fact guiding you here. And it's guiding you out of some sort of rough energy. Yeah, look at that. Six of Swords to the Sun here. Yep, to the Five of Cups. So there's definitely an awareness that something just isn't right. Something isn't, something doesn't slap right. Something doesn't slap anymore. It doesn't slap the right way, whatnot, whatever, okay? So, all right, let's, um, let's go deeper and find out what more of this is. I want to start with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So clarify the Seven of Pentacles in reverse for Virgo, please, Spirit. Ooh, look at that. The devil in reverse. Okay. You've given up some sort of addictions. You're giving up some sort of attachments. Um, this devil energy could be very much in alignment with what else has been coming, what has been also coming out for the rest of the collective so far, at least up until this Virgo session right here right now and this devil could represent belief systems okay the hierophant did come out a lot for a few of the signs previous to you 
Um, we'll see if he comes out here for you here, but the devil represents attachment, codependency, toxicity, um, belief systems, maybe. But what I'm getting with this Virgo, at least so far with the seven of pentacles reverse being clarified by the devil in reverse, you're releasing some sort of attachments. You're like at the baseline. What I just want to say here at this point is you're just letting go. Okay, you may be in under the, the, the clear understanding of you don't, even though you may, it may seem like you have to be attached to this or you have to stay bound to this, you really don't. And you can choose to release yourself from it. That's what I do feel like is happening here for you, Virgo. I'm picking up on some sort of energetic resonance for the devil here, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I can't quite define it. So let's get some more. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse, please, spirit, for Virgo? Okay, well, look, next card, you do have uh, two more cards here. Next card you have is the Ace of Wands reversed. So there is the representation of no longer being engaged in this situation, not having any sort of enthusiasm for it, or actively just pulling your energy away from it, pulling your energy back from it. From there, you have the Four of Pentacles upright to the Chariot upright. And then at the bottom of the deck, we're back to the Eight of Swords. Look at that. This definitely could be a belief system for you, Virgo, um, but whatever this devil energy is, whatever this seven of pentacles energy has been for you, it is turning into a level of confinement. Now, quite frankly, Virgo, this could be ha this could have been confining for you this whole time. And I feel like whatever this situation or circumstance is for you that is represented by the seven of pentacles reversed, which is speaking to the fact that you're not receiving the fruits of your labor that you had intended or desired, or maybe even thought have been told you might have been, uh, were, uh, you might have received should you follow this pathway or this belief system or whatever. You're not getting that. You're not receiving that, or at the very least, you don't want it anymore. So the Seven of Pentacles does represent a blockage, but what I'm feeling for this blockage, Virgo, is that you are in the process of releasing it. And I'm feeling specifically in the process of understanding what it is for yourself in order to release it. Now, the other thing that's coming through here that I'm, I'm able to define now that I saw a little bit more, the devil here does represent a situation that you have been confined to. And this does feel like a belief system at its core. It feels like something that either your family or um, business colleagues or mentors or even maybe society, Hierophant energy, it feels like something that others have taught you or put on to you. And this is a like this has been coming out for almost all of the signs so far. I'm really interested to see how the rest of the zodiac resonates if the rest of the zodiac resonates, you know, after your sign. But it definitely does feel like something that you were confined to, something that you were either you allowed yourself to believe in or maybe depending on the circumstances to varying degrees of course you were forced to assimilate with that doesn't seem to be working out for you and it could very and it could be it and, and it maybe you are receiving the fruits of the labor that you had intended or you were led to believe that you would receive should you follow this path but ultimately it could be something as and I don't want to really call this minor but for lack of a better term, it could be something as minor as you are receiving the fruits of that labor, but you don't want it any longer. Or it's not what you intended to have. Or at the very least, at this point, you have changed in sufficiently internally to find that this just doesn't resonate for you any longer. Now, with this, you have the four of pentacles and the chariot. What I will say, Virgo is that whatever it is you seem to be releasing, no longer desiring to be a part of any longer, it has created some sort of foundation for you. Again, I'm feeling very strongly it's a foundation within a belief system, but it's as if you have this, it's like you have this foundation in this belief system or whatever this situation or reality has been for you. And that's created a very solid foundation for yourself to move forward from, but it's like you've evolved out of that. Where was I was, it was the sip. If you're, if you're new to the channel, um, I have a daily live stream that I do. It's called the sip 
where we talk about the daily astrology, of course, in terms of true sidereal astrology. And then I also get into a collective card reading, you know, general reading, whatever spirit wants to talk about. And then energy of there was an energy that I picked up on yesterday, which was the sip. It was talking about the moon. I'm sorry, Mercury moving into Leo soon. By the time you are actually watching this reading, which will be at least August 1st of 2022, the Mercury will be sufficiently be in Leo at that time. But in that episode of the sip, I was feeling like there was some sort of evolution evolving. Um, and I was talking about, or, or, I'm sorry, some sort of evolution happening underway or having happened already. I feel like for you, Virgo, four of pentacles to the chariot, you have learned quite a lot. And I don't want to call whatever this is for you, the seven of pentacles reverse, I don't want to call it bad because, net, because technically it has helped you to build yourself to the point that you're at now. It has helped you to build this foundation, which does four of pentacles, which does feel like a solid sense of self or a solid understanding of yourself now in relation to whatever it is you seem to be releasing that is now helping you greater, def greater define who it is what, that you are, at least at this very moment, because that is going to continue to change throughout your lifetime, but has helped you greater define who it is you are at this moment and actually what it is you may want or what it is you may be wanting to move forward towards. Okay, so even though you're giving up this binding type of energy or whatever it is you seem to have been bound to, the devil, it could be anything, it could be a job, it could be a relationship, a marriage, a belief system, a, a, a social association, uh, you could be, go it sh literally could be going from being very religious to now being more spiritual and opening up to the possibilities there. But whatever this foundation is for you, you are moving forward in a very determined, serious, and profound way, I want to say, with the chariot here. So ultimately, Virgo, even though you know this situation is clarified and represented as the devil, I don't want to say that it was bad for you because it has helped you to define who you are up until this moment. And from there, you get to move forward in a much more authentic way. And that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. All right. So let's look at the Queen of Cups reversed here. Clarify the Queen of Cups reversed for Virgo, please, Spirit. Queen of Cups for Virgo. We have the lovers. Well, there you go. Okay, so here we go. So this is your right to choose. This is you choosing something else. This is you saying like, all right, my, I'm not emotionally invested in this any longer or I don't want to be emotionally invest invested in this any longer. So what do I do now? But really, I mean, you have both representations of a choice here. You have it in the minor arcana as the two of wands. But now, to clarify your emotional reality surrounding this, you have the lovers. And when it comes to the lovers in terms of a choice, this is a choice of your highest good. And, if, and this, this angel here on the card can be rep, can, is representative, at least in this moment, is representative of that higher awareness, that higher vision, that higher guidance that you are receiving, okay? The influence, the higher influence, whether you see this as god source creator or whomever whichever deity you are praying to or or uh, aligning with at this time you're working with at this time or that angel could be seen as your higher self and your higher self uh, or this at your either your higher self or this deity is coming forward towards you prevents presenting you with the right to choose is is lovingly saying to you if you're not emotionally invested in this anymore look darling you can choose to move in a different direction okay Queen of Cups reversed for Virgo, please. Now we have the Knight of Swords. Wow. Okay, two air energies, two Gemini energies. The, the Lovers does represent Gemini officially. And then for me as a reader, I see the Knights and the Pages as the mutable sign. So in terms of the air suit or the sword suit, that would be Gemini. Communication, learning, um, um, seeking new opportunities, adventurous energy but it is the knight of swords that that kind of worries me a little bit just because that energy can be a little volatile but what's the queen of cups here okay anything else for the queen of cups no all right and then the two of interesting the two of swords and then we're back to the knight of cups again huh so virgo it feels like you've been fighting this a little bit it's like 
Okay, I'm going to speak of it in this way. This is how it, the, the, this is how the energy feels for me. Take it as it resonates. This could be literal or it could be hypothetical. And I want to make it very clear that it is not my intention to bring judgment towards anyone who, a, a, any one person and their personal practices. Okay. This is just a hypothetical thing. But what this kind of feels like here is spirit has been, or your higher self, maybe God source creator or whichever deity or whomever it is you are, you are aligning with and working with energetically at this time. On, an, on a higher uh, vibrational level, higher awareness level, this entity has come through for you and says, says to you very keenly, very sternly and very starkly, you in fact have the right to choose. Just because, with the devil here, just because there is something that's being presented to you that you are being told is the right way or others are being told is the wrong way, doesn't mean that it won't resonate for you. Ultimately, you have the right to choose. And not only do you have the right to choose, Virgo, you have the right to explore. So this is the type of, this is a very unconditionally loving and liberating type of energy, but this is, this tends to be a roadblock for say, a lot of people that are exiting the realm of, of strong religious association and are now moving into the more freedom-based spirituality association. And it feels like here, Virgo, you, at, at least at some point or maybe currently still, are kind of fighting against this. It's like you're looking at, you're turning to this entity or this higher awareness or even your higher self who are telling you, you have the right to choose here. If you are not emotionally invested in this, if this does not emotionally fulfill you, then you have the right to choose to go in a different direction. It's like you're turning to that entity and saying, who are you? You're the devil, aren't you? I can't do that. I can't go in those directions. I can't experience those things. It's low vibrational. It's not obedient. Mm. I mean, okay, no one's telling you you're right or wrong here, Virgo. All we're saying to you is you have the right to choose. And yes, we're, the spirit is lovingly trying to get you to open up to the truth of what your heart really wants, not what any sort of dogma has for you or says you should want or says you should be associated with or says you should be going after. You've been fighting this. I actually wanna get a little bit more on this here. Knight of Swords to the Two of Swords is giving me denial. And I did just hear objective thinking. Oh, a denial of objective thinking. Can we get a little bit more on this? Uh, Knight of Swords, clarify a little bit more of the Knight of Swords, please. For my Virgos. The Four of Wands. Oh, you don't wanna break up a happy home? Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands. Very interesting. And then we're back to the Eight of Swords. Look at that, Virgo. So either you were or you have been fighting against this liberation for you. Again, you have the Four of Wands here, which is very similar to the Four of Pentacles, at least in this situation. The Four of Pentacles is representing that you have a very solid foundation here, okay, physically or just within your sense of self, right? Four of Wands is representing that same sort of foundation, but on a creative spiritual level. From here, you can go ahead and create anything. This really does, for many of you, it feels like a graduation. Out of the more dogmatic, out of a more dark, dogmatic belief system and something to weigh, something way, way more creatively liberating. Like you could, like you have a, a, a firm foundation or at least a firm understanding of yourself, of spirituality or of maybe of religion, whatever, or of physical reality from which now you can create anything. You don't need those rules and regulations. You don't need that restriction anymore. But see, you've been fighting against this. And now what Spirit is saying here, you have the Queen of Swords to the Eight of Wands. You could literally completely free yourself from this. You could go from this imprisonment, this dogma, this confinement to complete liberation if you just allowed yourself to do so, if you just allowed yourself to stop fighting against it and say, look, it is what it is. I'm being led in this way. I'm being, and I trust my higher guidance. So I might as well just say, screw it and do it. 
cut away anything that is that is disturbing you or keeping you from moving forward so that you can be liberated. But there's fear behind that, Virgo. There's there's because but it's the dogma. It's and this doesn't have to be religion. Okay, this could be business and finance. This could be financial. You could be you could be under the dogma or the practices or the teachings of certain financial advisors that maybe yes, resonated with you at one time, but now they just don't anymore. And I don't have a I don't have an explanation for that. That would be specific to you. There are too many people that this could resonate with. Like I'm reading for thousands of people right now. This could be too many people that are resonating with this for me to specifically define it for you. You define that for yourself, but it's time for you to be free, Virgo. It's time for you to take what you've learned and apply that to your own personal sense of creation. Okay? Now, the other thing that I'm getting from this four energy, the four of pentacles, even the four of wands, is that maybe you don't, like I said, when the four of wands came up, maybe you don't want to break up a happy home. Maybe this is a community that works really, really well together, or this is a situation in which individuals work really well together. But something about this is not resonating with you. You are not emotionally invested in this, and that doesn't mean you have to stay. You can free yourself from this and move forward to something better, much more in alignment with you. Let's clarify this Two of Wands. Clarify the Two of Wands for Virgo, please, Spirit. What's the Two of Wands for Virgo? In terms of this decision. Interesting, just one card. The Six of Pentacles. That is a simple and basic answer, but it is very, very appropriate. Okay, it may seem like a, like a, a trivial thing. It may seem like real simple, but it doesn't have to be complicated, Virgo. Where does the reciprocity lie? Six of Pentacles. Overall energy is the Three of Cups. That is a hive mind mentality right there. That is social standing. That is a collective energy. That is society, okay? Uh, you don't want to be pariah, a, a pariah. You don't want to be seen as a pariah. You don't want to break from the collective. You don't want to break ranks, I guess. But the fact of the matter is, Virgo, if you're, if the, the question for you is where does the reciprocity lie? And what it feels like right now is the reciprocity lies in whichever direction your heart is trying to lead you or your higher self or this higher guidance is trying to lead you towards. Where's the reciprocity, Virgo? This is, this is, this is, the, this is what everything hinges on, this question. This also feels like, because now I'm being brought back to this Two of Swords, the denial, this also feels like the question that you might be hesitating to answer, if not refusing altogether, because you know what that answer is. Your reciprocity or the reciprocity that you seek, the balance between give and take that you seek, is not necessarily with this crew or with this social association. Dep like, take it as it resonates, of course. All right, last thing I want to look at for you then is the Nine of Wands. What do we want to say to Virgo for this Nine of Wands energy? Because now I feel like this Nine of Wands is you trying to perser persevere in the old way. Um, I don't know if that's beneficial or healthy. What's this Nine of Wands energy, please? Ooh. The Tower. You are trying to avoid a Tower moment. But honey, let me tell you something. The more you try to avoid this, the worse and worse it's going to end up getting. With that, you have the Seven of Cups and then you have the Queen of Wands. There is a much greater alignment for you that is about to emerge. And I'm going to tell you this right now, Virgo. I do not mean to scare you, but this is going to come out of you one, some, one way or another. Seven of Cups is clarifying this. Okay, you have the Nine of Wands here with the Tower and the Seven of Cups. There is a Tower moment that's on the verge of happening. You can either go with it and make it a bit easier on yourself, or you can continue to refuse and fight against this. But ultimately, this is going to come out some way or another. And for some of you here, I'm picking up on the fact that it's going to come out in a very explosive way, and it's going to seem like mania. It's going to seem like you're mentally ill by the people around you. No, you're not mentally ill. You're just going through an awakening process. But of course, I'm not a doctor, right? I'm not a doctor. So if you want to go get checked out or speak to a professional, I highly recommend you do that if you feel like the right, that's right for you. But what this feels like here, you're, I mean, yes, it might be a level of psychosis, 
but it's the type of psychosis that comes with some sort of liberation from some sort of confinement, the devil, dogma. I mean, obviously the, the actual dogma would be represented by the Hierophant, which has not come out here, but it doesn't need to be because the, the, the message is clear. We've got the message sufficiently, but this is gonna come out. The, what this is saying here with the Tower and the Seven of Cups is this is gonna come out somehow. The universe has infinite ways to make whatever needs to make happen, happen. And if this needs to happen for you, if you really need to be liberated like this, Virgo, you better get with the program. I mean, I don't mean to, I don't mean to sound um, like an authoritarian or I'm, or I'm like, like, like I'm threatening any sort of punishment for you. This is not a threat. I'm just, I'm just being real with you, Virgo. You know, you're in this nine of wands energy of resistance. The, the nine of wands is very much a level of resistance a lot of the time. It could be persistence. It could be, you know, being the wounded warrior and just keep going until you reach the finish line. But also it could represent resistance. And next after the nine is the 10. So either way, it feels like, especially if you're having trouble deciding which way to go, it does feel like the universe may come through with some, with some sort of situation that will ultimately get you in alignment with it because the queen of wands energy here, this is your true alignment. This is what you really want to be aligned with. And of course that is personal and individual. It is not for me to define that. It's not for anyone else to define that for you. I just feel like this greater sense of alignment of what it is you truly want in life and being in alignment with it to allow yourself to receive those opportunities to take action towards it. It's going to come out. It's meant to, it's part of who you are. It's part of what you're meant to be expressing in life is what I just heard. So you can either go with the flow and, and, and potentially make the, this transition or whatever seems to be changing drastically for you, make it easier on yourself. Of course, granted, that doesn't mean it's going to be any easier on the people around you, but it's, they're really not the topic here. This is your life, right? Or you can continue to resist. But what I'm seeing here is the nine of wands, next is the 10 of wands. So something is gonna happen in which, something is about to happen in which, and, and this doesn't have to be so bad. It could be that you're just, you're not able or ready to decide yet. And there's gonna be something that will happen that will bring you to say the 10 of wands energy where you're like, okay, yeah, I'm overburdened now. I gotta let something go, all right? This doesn't have to be difficult or bad, Virgo. Okay, but your resistance is not going to help you at all. Okay, this resistance towards change. Let's get your closing message. Closing message for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node for this reading, please. Spirit, first card you have is the Sun. That's beautiful. Optimism, a bright future is ahead of you, Virgo, even if you're in fear of it right now. Beautiful, bright future is ahead of you. Liberation, awareness, bright, sunny days, happiness, enthusiasm. Look at that. With justice and the king of wands now there you go and then you have the three of cups again now we're back to the three of cups and what the three of cups is saying at this moment virgo is that even though you may be leaving some sort of collective understanding or alignment behind that doesn't mean you won't find a new one there are better there are more people that are better or would be better in alignment with you now as the person you are now than whatever it is you're vibing with currently Okay, the sun, optimism, justice, justice, the king of wands, your desires to move forward with something. We had the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck last time, and now we have the king of wands coming out here for your, for your closing message. So what this is feeling like, Virgo, is encouragement to queen of wands, get into alignment with what it is you truly want so that you can be receptive in a receptive mode to receive the opportunities to take action in toward, towards that alignment. This is encouragement, the sun justice and the king of wands, whatever would be that you would be taking action towards in terms of that greater alignment or maybe even more authentic alignment for yourself is actually the, what you really we're really encouraging you to do that, get into alignment with that so that you can take that action in those directions because it's gonna bring justice and greater balance and harmony into your life. All right, Virgo? It's encouragement there. Okay, 
I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in, Virgo. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email and let me know you're interested, and I'll be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. With that said, though, Virgo, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.